Even though the two strokes are dead in the mainstream motorcycling for a very long time, a lot of people still adore those little machines. And why don't they? Because the two strokes combine the best of both worlds, the power of a big four stroke and the lightness of a small engine. If you take a simple single cylinder four stroke engine, it will have about 30 to 40 moving parts. On the two stroke however, that number is down to six. This combination of power, lightness and simplicity is what makes the two strokes favorite among the motocross racers. But with the introduction of Euro 4 emission laws, even the motocross bikes are on the verge of extinction. Unfortunately, not many manufacturers are concerned about it. They'll just switch to the four strokes. But the KTM is not one of them. They have come up with this really ingenious idea to make the two strokes comply with the Euro 4 emission laws. It's called the transfer port injection. The two stroke contributes more than 50% of KTM's total dirt bike sale. So it is obvious that the KTM do want to preserve that market share despite the ever changing emission laws. To fight the new emission laws, KTM have introduced two new models, the EXA250 and EXA300 with the transfer port injection technology for 2018. With the new TPI system, KTM is not trying to redefine the fundamental principles of a two-stroke engine. Instead, what they did here is they designed a completely new fuel delivery system which is capable of providing a much better fuel consumption figures at lower emission along with the traditional characters of a two-stroke engine. Unlike the fuel injection system in a normal four-stroke engine where the fuel is injected into the manifold just before the inlet valves, in the TPI system, the fuel injectors are placed in each individual transfer points just behind the cylinder barrel, as you see in the picture. These injectors spray the atomized fuel into the air which is being transferred from the crankcase to the combustion chamber through the transfer port. According to the KTM, this downstream injection of the fuel helps for a better mixing with the air. With this TPI technology, KTM has eliminated the need for pre-mixing of the fuel with the oil. They have provided the bike with a separate oil tank with a capacity of 0.7 liters and an oil pump which squirts the oil into the throttle body to lubricate the crankshaft, cylinder barrel and eventually cylinder bore and rings. KTM claims that the TPI technology helps to reduce the fuel consumption by 55% during the low speed operations and between 20-25% to during the wide open throttle. Since it eliminates the need for pre-mixing of the fuel with the oil, it also helps with the emission problems. So there you have it, the working of the transfer port injection system. If you guys find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time, ride safe.